What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about 2020 body and hair care favorites. So let's jump in. First up is a super random one. Pre-COVID, I had a lot of these in my bag. It's the Pure Active Body Wipe. I don't know about you guys, but like I'm a sweater. I sweat a lot and there's nothing I can do about it, but I would bring these with me all the time. I think this is the mint scent and it's really nice. When I was at work and I had like really stressful meetings I was nervous for, I would bring this and I would just freshen up before the meeting or afterwards, just so I felt like I wasn't, you know, gross around my coworkers. They're also great for travel. Obviously you don't wanna use uh, single use products very often, but when you're in a pinch, this is really cool. Um, and I think I just got these on Amazon. Speaking of sweating, let's talk about deodorant. So my favorite is the Kaya Naturals, the Take Sumi Detox uh, Bamboo Charcoal Deodorant. And this is the Lime Mint scent. This doesn't, this is not an antiperspirant. It doesn't like stop me from sweating, um, but I'm just addicted to the scent. It's like, it's like aromatherapy for me. It just smells so good. It's uh, mostly mint, but the lime just adds a certain like freshness to it. So it's not like a sweet or like a food mint. It's just like fresh and earthy. And I've DM'd Kaya. I have emailed them. I've been like, please make other products with the scent, make a fragrance, a shampoo, body wash. Like I want it all. It's so good. Um, it doesn't prevent the smell quite as much as other deodorants I've tried. Uh, but it is really nice because that scent is so addictive to me. I really, really love it. Moving on to other deodorants. I also have this deodorant from Athena Club. This is their All Day Dio in number two. This is a really interesting product, um, as is everything from Athena Club. They're quite an interesting company. Uh, so the deal with this is that there's no baking soda, and that's what you would typically see in natural deodorants without aluminum. Um, but they don't have that. What they have in this instead is something called diatomaceous earth, I believe, and it's super cool. Um, it's actually in one of my all-time favorite hair products coming up next. But the point of why I bring that up is because I think it's really effective. This, I do notice, actually prevents me from smelling. Uh, a lot of times, you know, even if I'm just like sitting here, I'm not too hot, I'm not nervous, but I'll notice that I'm sweating. Like, that's just who I am. It is what it is. Sorry that the light's going down, what are you gonna do? Um, but I do notice that with this, even when I have really bad stress, like stress sweats that smell worse than regular uh, sweats, this helps. Where did the light go? This product is so interesting because I think that diatomaceous earth is what makes it so effective without baking soda. Baking soda personally causes me to have a really bad chemical reaction. Uh, like the Schmitz deodorants give me the worst chemical burns ever because of the baking soda. So this uses diatomaceous earth instead and it really does, I think, soak up like the wetness a little bit. It prevents me from smelling quite as much. I still do notice like a scent of my own like body odor if I'm sweating like really badly and I'm really nervous, but this really is effective. It's the most effective natural deodorant I've ever tried. And here's the thing. I do have to give a disclaimer because I think that diatomaceous earth causes these little crystallizations. Like as I feel it, it feels like a chemical exfoliator or sorry, a physical exfoliator. So what I have to do before I use the deodorant, I have to take a tissue and I have to wipe off the crystallization. And then it's like, clear and you know smooth and I can apply it but one time I applied it without uh getting rid of the little crystallizations and I was in so much pain it was basically just like burning my underarms and I don't want that so I think Athena Club has to fix the crystallization issue but the actual product is very effective this is the Athena Club Dewy Body Lotion and this is one of the best body lotions I've ever tried if not the best I'm blown away by this. It has vitamins and antioxidants. And first of all, all of the Athena Club packaging is made from sugar cane, which is pretty cool instead of plastic. Um, but just listen to the ingredients in this because I think you guys will be really impressed. So there's aloe vera juice, glycerin, love glycerin, shea butter, vitamin C, panthenol, niacinamide, vitamin E, 
hyaluronic acid, avocado oil, spinach leaf extract, cucumber extract, squalane, anyway, some other things I can't pronounce, but that's really good for a body lotion. That's like all the stuff I would put on my face, you know? It's really nice to see a company like focusing on uh, really beneficial ingredients for your body skin. And where I think this shines is in the texture. So I'll just show you, you pump it out. And the name, the Dewy Body Lotion is just spot on. You see how like beautifully thin, it honestly feels like a cross between a lotion and a serum. It's just like so beautifully dewy lightweight. I mean, it's so thin. It just spreads like a dream over your body. You don't have to like spend all that time rubbing it in because the body lotion is like thick and kind of dry. It's just the most like luxurious, lightweight, only slightly dewy lotion. It's not sticky. It's not too heavy. I can use it during the day. I can use it at night. It's the perfect body lotion formula. I'm blown away. I wish they made a bigger size. The only thing is that I don't love the scents of their products. So I had the deodorant I talked about. There's the body lotion and then there's uh, this body wash and they all have pretty much the same scent. It's like a light, fresh rose. It's not too sweet. It's not like an artificial rose, but regardless, their products are scented quite femininely. And I just don't like body products to be scented like that. I like a more androgynous scent or something a little bit more fresh, like the Kaya, like mint, anything mint I really like. Um, so I just wish that the Athena Club products had different scents. Luckily, I did get in touch with Athena Club and they told me that they're coming out with new scents soon. So if you're not really like a rose scented kind of person, maybe just you know sign up for their newsletter because they should be coming out with more scents and I will absolutely be purchasing this because it's just crazy good. Also from Athena Club, I showed their body wash. It's called their creamy body wash with vitamins and coconut oil and it's super creamy. It's just a beautiful texture and product. It comes out looking like a thick lotion. So creamy body wash is definitely a great name for it. It's never drying on my skin. It feels so luxurious. You can see I've used up a lot of this bottle. And again, it has really beautiful, fantastic ingredients. You know, it's got coconut oil and sunflower oil. It has avocado oil, panthenol, uh, manuka honey, niacinamide, vitamin E, sweet almond oil, um, a bajillion other things in there, green tea, chamomile, like stuff you'd put on your face. Um, so I really like their approach to ingredients. Again, I, I kind of have like little issues with all their products um, that I hope they fix because I did just want to give a quick disclaimer. I really hate the packaging with this body wash. The product is so thick that when you first get it, you have to like, like really try to like get it out. And that wasn't working. So I decided to start storing it upside down so that the product would be, you know, at the bottom, I could just squeeze it out. But then in the beginning, it's so heavy that it would just kind of like fall over in my shower and it's hit me on the feet multiple times and it's been really painful. And now that I'm at the bottom, this is so, the sugar cane bottle is so hard that in order to squeeze out the product, I literally have to bite the bottle in the shower like to get it out. So, you know, I think their actual products are incredible, but they just got like a couple kinks maybe to work out here and there. Um, but the actual product of this is fantastic. And if you have stronger hands than I have, then you'd probably love it. Let's keep going on the body lotion train. My next favorite body lotion of all time is the CO Bigelow uh, Lemon Body Cream. You can see I love it. I love this huge ass jar. And it looks like this. It is perfect in every way. That's good. This body cream is so damn good. It's like a cross between a body cream and a body butter. But what I love about it, A, the lemon scent is just absolutely beautiful. It's not too sweet, it's not too sour, it's not too overpowering, it's like a creamy, soft lemon. And you put it on and you you look at it, you think it's gonna be super thick and like take a long time to rub in and absorb, but it's not. It just rubs in so beautifully. 
I love putting it all over my body from top to toe. It's like the most luxurious body lotion I've ever tried. So in a perfect world, I would use this during the daytime and this at night. And they're just an incredible combination. My body skin has never felt so good. It's just perfect. I really don't like to take the time to care for my body. Uh, I spend so much time on my face that I just always forget about my body skin, but I'm trying to do a better job about that. And so the CO Big Low Lemon Body Cream and the Athena Club Dewy Body Lotion have really helped me uh, just take care of my body a little bit better. Since we talked about the Athena Club body wash, let's talk about my other favorite. The Athena Club one I like in the wintertime because it's so creamy and thick. And this is my favorite for like spring, summer. This is the Aveda Rosemary Mint hand and body wash. And I love it because it's just very lightweight. It's not drying. Um, it's a very thin, you know, foamy body wash but it smells so good. I love, as you can tell, I really love um, earthy scents and mint scents. I love eucalyptus, peppermint, anything like that. So this rosemary mint scent is just like so invigorating and it just, you know, kind of has that aspect of aromatherapy in the shower where you wanna take that extra deep breath and you feel good about starting your day. And scents really do that for me and this is one of them, so love that. Speaking of eucalyptus, I also have been loving uh, the Necessaire, the body exfoliator. This is in the eucalyptus scent. I've only had this for about two weeks now, but I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And I'll show you what the texture looks like um, on my hand. So this is what it looks like. It's both a physical and a chemical exfoliator. So you can see these physical beads in there. I like that they're not super big. They actually feel like you're getting stuff done, but also that like, uh, that gel in there has a chemical exfoliating uh, element. Off the top of my head, I can't remember if it's like uh, an AHA or what chemical exfoliant is in here, but it's really beautiful. My skin feels soft afterwards and I just love using it. The packaging is gorgeous. You know, Necessaire is fantastic because men and women can use their products and love them. Uh, there's not a ton of like, you know, feminine branding or like masculine branding. It just works for everybody. So really been loving Necessaire. Also speaking of Necessaire, I have the Necessaire sex gel. And I think that this is super cool. Um, I don't really use lube a lot, but sometimes it's really nice to have on hand. You want to connect with your partner. You don't have a lot of time to like rev the engines, you know what I'm saying? So having something like this is really great on hand. And for years, I had just had this like old ass bottle of KY in my nightstand and it was like leaking and I had to put it in a Ziploc bag with a tissue and I was just like, this is fucking gross. So I got this instead uh, during the Sephora sale and it's amazing. It's got like hyaluronic acid. It's got a bunch of amazing ingredients. Obviously water, it's got aloe leaf juice. Um, I don't really know what else, but, <laughs> but it gets the job done. And most important part, like it doesn't look ugly in my nightstand. It doesn't bring a feeling of shame. It's just like, it's called the sex gel. I mean, it's a yes, like it's, it's a yes. Moving on, I still have another body lotion to talk about. Uh, this is the Eucerin Skin Calming Cream. This is for dry, itchy skin, and I believe it is uh, like eczema safe. It's a beautiful, beautiful body lotion. I had a week where I was experiencing eczema for the first time in my life. Um, I showed a picture to my dermatologist. She said she thought it was eczema, and it was just happening in like little patches all over my body. So I stopped using my other body lotions because those had uh, a little bit of natural fragrance. And I just didn't want anything in any of my body products that could possibly aggravate uh, if it really was eczema. So this seems to be perfect. Um, it has oatmeal, which my understanding is fantastic for eczema. And it's like kind of perfectly in the middle of like a super lightweight cream or a super thick cream. Um, I'll show you on the back of my hand. It's just a beautiful feeling. It rubs in, I would say the least quickly out of all three, it's definitely like leaves a little bit of like a streaky white cast all over your body for just like a minute or two while you have to rub it in. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about when you get those like body lotion streaks, um, but it rubs in pretty quickly. 
and it just feels amazing. You know, it feels very nourishing. There's nothing in here that's going to like piss your skin off. There's glycerin, which is great. Um, and yeah, colloidal oatmeal, a couple other things, but it's like pretty damn, uh, you know, minimal. And so when I'm having some like dry, itchy skin feeling coming up, I stop using my other body products. I switch to fragrance free options and this as well. So this has really been helping me through the wintertime. Next up is the best discovery in the body and hair care product for me for 2020. And this is the Aranco Cactus Texturizing Shampoo. This is a recommendation from Hannah Louise Post in here on YouTube. She talked about this, and this is the product I was referring to when I spoke about diatomaceous earth. They use diatomaceous earth as a texturizing ingredient in this shampoo, and it is so effective. It, like what you do is you, you know, do your shampoo thing, and you can't use conditioner with this. This is like texturizing spray in shampoo. So when I, I actually didn't use it today, but like when I use it, I naturally kind of get like texture and I don't, um, I don't know if you can see my hair, but this is, this is all like old dyed hair and this is the newer hair coming in. I think you can see it's incredibly thin and silky and slippery to the point of if I don't have a texturizing product in my hair, my ponytail will slide right out of my hair. I literally can't use <laughs> ponytail holders without a texturizing product. That's how thin and slippery my hair is. It's crazy. So every day I use this cactus shampoo. It's incredibly expensive for a small bottle, but for me, it's probably the best hair product I've ever come across um, because it means that I can just shampoo and I don't have to add another texturizing product. My hair can dry naturally and it's not gonna be like sticking to my head like, you know, like silk. Um, so this is fantastic. I'm so glad Hannah like spoke on and on about this. It's really, truly amazing. Moving along into the other hair products that I'm just obsessed with. As you guys can see, I'm really low maintenance when it comes to hair. I didn't style my hair today. I just, uh, I shampooed it and I dried it <laughs> and that's it. Um, so when I do kind of style my hair a little bit, I always will reach for some type of sea salt spray. It's just so effective because if I spray some sea sp salt spray in my hair, it can just dry naturally without, you know, having to use a dryer and it has texture and that's great. I can like put it in a bun. It'll have a little bit of a wave rather than being pinned straight. Um, and this is my favorite one that I've ever tried. I've tried everything on the market. Uh, the John Frieda one's really good. I've tried the Bum Bum Bumble. That's really good too. Uh, I've, I've tried like a hundred, I swear to God. I've always used sea salt, sea salt spray, but this is my favorite. It's the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Salt Spray. And what's really nice is it's not too gritty. Sometimes the Bumble and Bumble one can be like super drying on my hair, um, but other sea salt sprays like the John Masters Organics and a couple others have like an oil element to kind of also make your hair moisturize, but I don't want that because I get so greasy. So this is perfect. It's like the perfect balance of not being too dry and not weighing down my hair. It's also got this really nice nozzle. Um, and I just love the size, the price. This is one of my favorite hair care companies. Also from them, I have the Beach Babe Texturizing Dry Shampoo. I love this. It's so easy to just spray on the roots and it's not too gritty. It doesn't leave your hair feeling like greasy. It doesn't leave your hair feeling gross. It soaks up the oil. Um, it has a really nice light coconut scent. Um, and it's just a really, really beautiful product. As for my favorite texturizing spray, the Verb C Texture Spray is absolutely my favorite. This was recommended to me by Khaki um, on her YouTube channel and she was absolutely right. This is just a beautiful product. Um, in terms of like the best I've ever used, I would say is probably the Aura Bay Dry Texturizing Spray, but that one's $46 and I just can't justify the price of that because I go through texturizing spray so quickly. And this one honestly is like practically just as good. It's again, 
a light scent, not offensive. It doesn't like overwhelm you with scent. Um, unfortunately, I'm very sensitive to scents and the Kristen S, the Amica ones, any way products, all of those products are so heavily scented to me that I will get headaches. Sometimes even my boyfriend, if I use those products, he'll be like asking me to open windows or maybe even go wash my hair again. Um, these scents in this household are like, have got to be approved by everyone. And this one is just so not offensive. So I didn't put any texturizing spray in my hair today so I could show you. And let me just get on in here. Yeah, the fragrance is so light. It just smells kind of clean and it disappears. So. <laughs> And what's cool is like, I can put all of that in and I can barely smell it. Like that's what I want hair products to smell like. Cause I want people to smell my perfume, not my hair. Okay, so that's it. Those are my 2020 body and hair care favorites. Next up, I'll be doing my skincare favorites and then my makeup favorites. So I hope you enjoyed this. Don't know if anyone actually wanted to see this from me, but I hope it was helpful to someone and I hope you have a great rest of your day.